And we're back to it. Right, today's job, lots and lots of automation. And basically, ripping up this mess. So, did a little bonus stream on Saturday. I say bonus stream, it's a normal Saturday once. Normally it's satisfactory, but had a lot to do at the weekend. So, did a little bit of programming. I started to learn how to use the MIPS system. Now, I've looked at it before, and it's basically a laddered logic system. I've never actually dived into it properly. So basically I had a little dink around, um, followed some, uh, what was it? There's the wiki guide, which is fairly extensive, but not really um, clear as to things if you're sort of used to object oriented languages like I am. But there was a debugging website, which was called Stationering, I believe. Um, let me just see if I can find the web link for it. Because uh, it was sent to me in the chat. Yeah, station area. So that website, basically, you can actually test your code out and you get live debugging, which for me is very important. Um, I need that sort of hand-holding so I can then sort of try things out, work out which variables it's moaned about and work my way from there. So anyway, whizzed around with that. And basically, we now have... If I can... I don't have to bring it up in game with a, a computer, probably into the computer. But basically we have now a single chip solution that does all of this, basically, uh, by this bit. This bit is left behind, this will stay as is. But effectively all of these chips here, all of this is done by one single MIPS chip. Which, yeah, says a lot about LMS. And also we only need one of these vents now, we don't need two. So it's time to start ripping us up and actually start making some progress. Now I just need to get the variable set up for what is the correct temperatures. So five thousand, which is five megapascals, should be more than enough. Um, got the skip and I got the dump. So if it's greater than 295 which is not what I want, I want it to be a bit lower than that there'll be, um, what is the value I want? we're going to run at 288 and that temperature is 14 I'm going to say, I tested, I've got a feeling it was about 200 I wanted at I'll wait to do it as 210 So it's, it's down to 10, confirm. Yeah, export that out. Add the chip, turn that off. Okay, does it have labels now? Yes, pipe and lines. Okay, so you need to be pipe analyzer. Air temperature. And you need to be vent. That's it. I've just got to tie up this wire in a bit. That's it. And that's all we need. And now that one chip did what all the previous ones did. I get the position about right. Yeah. Slight difference between the two. <laughs> one chip literally did about 20 chips job. All because of MIPS. So it's definitely worth having a little um, read up of that guide. And actually go through and work out what is going on. Right, just well here again. Just says a quick jump cut. I've uh, cut ahead quite a bit here because there was a lot of me waffling uh, to the stream again. So at this point, what I've done is move the machines inside. And what I'm going to start doing is putting a shoot system in that is going to have individual chips controlling each bank. And they will request and basically the shoots will automatically collect and eject ingots depend on what mode the or if the machine's turned on and if the handle's on. An idea. 
To know which machine I want to use, I simply just switch it on. And then when I switch it off, oh, I've got some ideas now. I've got some ideas. <laughs> the old brain is thinking, I've got some ideas. I've got some programming ideas. I want to do now. Never used to do all this crazy programming stuff until recently. Now the bug has got me. Uh, back you go. Yeah. yeah, I've got some ideas now. I think if I go, if we do basically read the logic off or read the state of each of these machines. And if it's on, it wants to request the ingots. But if it's on and the purge handle is on, then ignore it. Collect all the materials up, and then I just there's a it's like a mini silo because there's a big silo in there, but is there like a miniature one, a nice small one, or some way of storing materials, and then when it's ready, then send it out. Right, it shoots. That's a start. You need a lot more for my crazy idea, so. Leave that like that. Oops, fall down. I fell. I fell. So my thinking is if I send it all up and round. And then from the back maybe? Um No, it's not gonna be easy, is it? I just realised I've made a bit of a cock up with the placement. I think I might have to go up into a ceiling cavity. Yeah. I think that's going to have to be a wall here. Going along there. And then have that one section with a wall above it. That they'll have all my chutes and they'll drop down into each machine. And have the chute system above them filtering all out. I think that's the best way of doing it. At least that's my idea anyway. Whether or not my hairbrain's ideas work, it's a bit of a up in the air. I just realised something. I've not required food or water the whole stream. I think it's broken. Wait a minute. Food and hunger rate, zero. There's your problem. <laughs> Obviously when I was doing the creative thing on the moon base, I changed it on that, and I didn't bloody put the thing back. I thought to myself, I've been sat here all day thinking, I've not used any water. That would be why it's not been going hunger, thirst, all the alarms. All right, to compensate for that, four times. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch up for the last hour at four times food and hunger rates. Ah, oh, I can't believe that. Mm. Right, let's stop that for the time being. Turn that off. Turn that off. So, it's going to have to go up, I think. That's my thinking anyway. Just a quick jump cut here. We are now jumping ahead to the next stream. Now, I had a horrible head cold at this point, so I am a bit fuzzy headed to say the least. Also, you might notice an extra, should we say, extra character running around. This is when we start testing out the multiplayer system. So the missus jumped in uh, as Casbox, and you'll see her just running around time to time. In this episode, I'm just going to concentrate, finish off the shoots and things, and then the next episode, I'm hopefully going to do a bit more of a should we say a recap of the multiplayer stream because there was again a lot of chaos happened anyway we'll continue with the shoots and ladders and then so i need these sorters to send the ingots to the machine that is on that's the logic i am trying to think i'd do brain worky yes maybe so do i do it in rips yeah i'll do it in rips so it's yeah, going to be probably on. easier to try to do lots of chips and then, is there a separate date for one of these? 
Please tell me there isn't. No. They're just all one port. Okay. Power and data. Excellent. Why can't everything be like that? So each one of these is then going to have a rips which will be tied up with that and it will say if that machine is on shoot down this one. If not, shoot through that one which would then go uh, Yeah, actually if I move that slightly to left we can do straight pipe come back. Yeah, let's do that. Object reference not set to instance of an object. That's fine. Is it on fire? No, then it's all working as it should do. Right, let's get rid of. No. Let's not get rid of it there. Wait a minute, that's the. I think that's where we'll put the filter. Mm -hmm. Got more I was doing. Yeah. This is not the only one. Well, not the only one. I mean, I have an excuse, so I'm going to stick to it. Right. The junction. So if I send them all down to here, then if I send them to here somewhere, send them to here somewhere, you know what it is, the junction, there's a different type of junction, so you have to be kind of like... Mining tool. Mining? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about your character, are you? Yeah. Uh, so, you look on your backpack, you see the grey band next to the blue pill. No. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's it. Drag that down to your uh, that toolbar slot. There you go, they click that again. Number six. And then drag that to your hand. Nope. Is she trying to use a Yes, I was. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Damn the POV, isn't it? <laughs> uh, dear. I was going to write a message saying shush, but. <laughs> Shh. Wait a minute, I'm a mod, I can delete that message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quick, take a moderate, it powers away. <laughs> oh, dear. So, I don't know. I have not played this game for the best part of 18 months. <laughs> that's all right. You're about as rookie as I am still, then. I had uh, drill on it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so what were you trying to drill? The yes. ice. The oxide. Oh, with the hand drill? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was like, ha uh, mining drill, I presume is what you meant, yeah? No, I had drill in the name, you know. <laughs> You're taking a core sample. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've um, seen if they're paying attention on Twitch chat. <laughs> I mean, it's one way to definitely drive up engagement, just if you try and do wrong tools. <laughs> oh, dear. Be turned off. It's mostly all the gas out of the system. Oh, hello, wifey. Oh, Where do I put your eye into on. um uh, huh. character even rolled her eyes then. <laughs> um iron, yeah? Yeah. Uh well I guess you go straight to the smelter then. After I just depressurize it. It's just uh it's off, yep. Yeah. Uh whereabouts? Oh, uh, this way doors? Sorry, I'm busy yes. doing something on my laptop. <laughs> go on, back in the room, back in the room. Right, uh stick your iron in this shoot thing out. Do, yeah, just the iron, oh, not your backpack, not anything else. 
Not the other track record doing that. Ah, oh, that food. Stand by. Oh, I did find uh, the last stream. It was Tuesday's one. Turns out, because I was doing the creative stuff on Saturday, I'd uh, turned off the food hunger thing. Oh, yeah. I spent most of the stream thinking, a bit odd, I haven't had to eat anything. And then I realised my numbers had changed for, eight, uh, for like hours. And I just happened to be clicking around and I realised, oh, yeah. And I'd, um, yeah, made it uh, easy. So I just cranked up stupidly high for a little while. There you go. So you should be able to start dumping in there. You're still getting drill on. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start programming these um, crazy things up, I think, because I think I can do it. I Jet think my brain just about functioned, maybe. Maybe. Half brain capacity. Uh, right, so you... Oh, you can make chairs. Chairs and everything. Um, you're just a simple sort, aren't you? I was about to say, you're just a simple person, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm definitely a simple person today. Uh, right. Like a chair. A chair? Ooh. Just a chair. Not more than one chair. Just I've already two. made two coffee cups. That's true. Yeah, they're already right. floating around. No, mine's, mine's on top of the auto lathe. Yeah, this one, yeah, I'll go throw at you, though. Weak. Oh, missed. Violence is not the answer. It's an option, but it's not the answer. Oink. There you go. Ango, caution. I bet you this is going to roll me around, isn't it? I've got this horrible feeling it's going to do that. Alright, let's, let's uh, test this theory out. Um, I need to pop a few paddles, don't I? And, okay. And then we'll see which one it comes out. It needs to come out the left port. I suspect that's going to be the wrong one, isn't it? One. Shoot once. Yeah, let's through on. there. Which one did it come through? Um, oh, wait a minute. Did I? No. Uh -oh. Let's take some food. We'll have some food for Where did it go? Oh, there. Oh, phew. Okay. It went to the right one. We're in luck. I'm going to get this chip in. Oh, you need power, don't you, as well? Oh, damn it. Right, me thingy, my bob, it, my packaging machine is hooked up, my microwave's hooked up. That was very technical then. You, you might have blown some people's minds there with your thingy, bobs. I said what it was afterwards. Right, where am I hooking this power in? Uh, you'll see a port on the front. So, sort of one, and then. Oh. <sighs> Rain stopped working today. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. Is that on? No. Still. Electronic pipe bender, electronics. Oh, what's the tool one? So I want them. Yeah, so the tool's the first one. And that goes into also sort of what? Well, let's see what happens. So, um, everything is online. If I turn auto lathe on, turn you on, set you to purge. Jetpack on. Well, there you go. Okay, they've all appeared in this one. <laughs> Jetpack on. Why is that? Why have you appeared there? Um, okay. I do have that configuration chip now, actually. I could be reading the data. Jetpack on. Um, what are you set to? 
output is set to 1. Right, that should be 0. Anything about you? No. Yeah, zero. Hydration critical. Output zero. Output one. What? Output one. I got the logic reversed. It looks like the logic is reversed, so let's just change that. Uh, export. Now I've got to play the game of update chips, so that's a good chip. That. That one. That one. That one. Export. Grab that one. Grab that one. Grab that one. Okay. Let's see now. Jetpack so you on. should be now saying output is on. output is one. Output is zero. Output is What the hell's going on? This seems to be just Doing wrong with you dumb. They should be all zero. Oh, is it because it's the skip that's maybe getting here and stopping maybe? I thought it just went through and continued. Twice zero, sorter. No, it should be one. No, wait, no, that's correct. No, what am I doing? So, device one, make it. If it's on, go to collect. Goes to collect, and it says, oh, you know, set to output will skip you. So it goes back up to here. Why is it not working? Should I turn it off to back on again? Oh, my brain does not, I cannot compute this today. The mode is set correctly. I, I presume it's mode two for logic because it's a logic chip that's controlling it. Uh, oh, here we go. Sorted by the board, logic mode, which is what we want because we don't want alternate outputs. We just want it to set manually the output each time. So it should be just constantly going through and pinging the number. There's something going on that don't make no sense to me. Step away, do something else, and then come back to it. No, because I'll lose where I'm up to. I'm actually walking backwards, which doesn't help either, because I'm not sure about the keyboard. Uh, let's see. So, device, this one here, you are open and on is zero and zero, which, according to the code, means R1 and they're all jump to start at the end, correct? So they all go back up here. So we get the registers in and they're both zero. So if it equals one, go over to there. That's correct. And then it gets to this point here and it'll say my right, output needs to be set to zero of that box which is our D0, which is the sorter. Okay. So the sorter for that one is sorter on. 1, which is this one here. And the output of that is 1. My tablet just died. Great! Well, this is not split, is it at all? Huh. Even in this mode, 
I wonder if the one and zero has been flipped. Now one is out to the right and zero. I'm wondering if they've, with the update, if something's been changed there. Wash these out again. Export. Export. Oh, there you go. Come yeah, up. There we go. Jetpack there we go. I think they've flipped it up, actually. Yeah, I think they've actually. It looks like. Uh, houses. Oh yeah, I know you can do that. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'm not too worried about it because they're all the same chip, so they can all be labelled the same. So, okay, the wiki's wrong then. Ah, another wiki error. So, here it says if it's zero, go to the right, which is wrong. It's now if it's one, it goes to the right. And zero goes to the left. Which is a bit confusing. Because this one is set to zero and that goes to the left. This one here is now set to the right, which is one. Yeah, it does, I guess. <laughs> that is true, actually. Yeah, I guess if you're looking at it this way around. Jetpack on. But I would, I would obviously think that way because that's the flow of direction, isn't it? Well, Rocket Works are a New Zealand company on the other side of the world, aren't they? Stuff's Good. upside down there. Exactly, everything's upside down. So I would have thought you'd look at this way because you're looking at it as it flows through the system. Yeah, stage left or stage right. That is it. It's all just a bit, you know. Yeah, there needs to be better documentation. Maybe on the wiki, it needs to have like a picture. Um up here or somewhere that says here's the left this is the right off you go type of thing worst documentation ever exactly or now i say that i bet you oh, i've got to check something i wonder if the ports are actually labeled left and right oh, that's what it goes let's see uh that's a stacker uh, Oh, there we go, sorts of. Okay. Yeah, no labels. Import. Yeah, you can't get any label out of whatsoever. That's annoying. Oh, well. You live and learn, as they say. Well, I think we'll call it there for this episode. We've covered now a bit of MIPS programming and my first uh, custom project using a MIPS code to organize the chute system for all the fabricators or the manufacturing equipment and automatically moving the ingots from one machine to another as and when they are requested. As you can see, we're starting to get some of the multiplayer craziness starting to happen. Um, the next episode will be a bit more of a general overview of what happened during that uh, whole day stream. There's a lot for me to go through, so there's a heck of a lot of editing and, and complications. Anyway, catch you all then. Bye for now.